Today is all about children like these. Riding is one of the highlights of their lives. Contact with the horses to help with their confidence, health and well-being. Pakefield Riding School near Low Sot was one of the first in the area to help children with disabilities and special needs. That was an amazing 50 years ago. For half a century, our indoor schooling ring has done sterling service. Now it is in desperate need of repair and refurbishing and made safe and accessible for wheelchairs. And fortunately for us, the Wooden Spoons Charity of Rugby has very kindly stepped in. What a wonderful day to be here at Payford Riding for the Disabled. This has been a dream in the planning for a little while and it all started at a year or so ago when we purchased a horse called Moss for the riding disabled here. And in the throes of the, all the efforts of 84 riders last September, when we raised £136,000 riding around all the rugby clubs in Norfolk, we've come here today with the money to spend and put this project together with the help of some great volunteers today. The know-how and, and expertise of Fusion and the hospitality and the enthusiasm of riding for the disabled here at Pakefield who have done an excellent job over 55 years and it couldn't go to a better place. It's going to be a hard day's graph but at the end of it when you see the children come on site this afternoon and the amount of passion that these guys have putting this centre in and you see the, the condition of these animals it's absolutely amazing. So if you fancy a bit on the tools, yeah? yeah. Excellent. Shoot over to uh, Sean over in the corner. When they bring you over a piece of timber, it should be marked off where they want to cut. Yep. All right, there's two types of drills that we'll be using. Everyone gets new skills and everyone's happy then for the rest of the day. And we all enjoy it, that's the main thing. My daytime job is normally an IFA, Independent Financial Advisor and an Accountant. I'm a company director. I'm a stable lad. I'm a volunteer. I work in a bank. I'm a hairdresser. I'm a recruitment manager. I'm a brickie. I'm a finance manager. I'm a horse riding instructor. Company secretary. I'm retired now, but I was a radiographer. Normally I'm retired um, and currently I'm captain of uh, my current golf club uh, and I certainly wouldn't be using this and don't tell the wife for God's sake because you'll get me doing this at home. It's a great atmosphere and that's what we need to do is uh, to get wooden spoon out to the community using things like Fusion to help us. The whole place has been in uh, disrepair. It's been up here since the 60s and it hasn't really been touched that much. Uh, so we've had a big task ahead of us. Uh, basically stripped it down to bare bones and uh, my team have been here getting it all ready. Uh, project day has come, we've got a team of Wooden Spoon and we've got some volunteers from the centre here that are helping out. So it's uh, all hands on deck. Uh, 16.30 we're going to do the handover today and uh, we're going to be good to go. My normal day job is hairdressing. I've been hairdressing for probably 35, 36 years, something like that, since I left school. Um, so I'm used to working with people, I like working with people. A lot of my clientele um, are people who are un unable to get out of their homes, um, so I go to their homes and again, I I'm quite happy to pick a broom and sweep the hair up and even wash the coffee cup up after I've gone. So we're quite, you know, both my husband are very involved in trying to, you know, help other people um, who aren't as fortunate as us. I would definitely do this again. I would definitely do any, anything like this. Obviously, Wooden Spoon is a charity very close to us anyway, but definitely I would tell anyone to do it. Anyone, a, day, a, day is, a day is nothing to anybody, is it? When you can you know, get such job satisfaction and, and feel like you've done a really good day, yeah. good hard work, and I say, I shall sleep well tonight. Brilliant. Half an hour, everybody. No pressure. Uh, with knowing Tess and John, or getting to know them over the week, I find them absolutely heartwarming and fantastic people. 
Uh, I just hope the school grows from strength to strength. I'm hopefully now we've, we've helped you out with what we've done, it will do. <laughs> well, I tell you what, I am absolutely amazed. Exactly. And you have done an amazing job. Exactly. You really have. <laughs> we thoroughly enjoyed having you. Thank you very much. We would like to say a huge thank you to Wooden Spoons, to Fusion, for giving us this opportunity of having a revamp of our indoor menage. And what a fantastic job they have done.